It's time to talk about microphones. When you talk to your friends online with that little mic kind of hanging off your headphones, it hurts them. It's time to get a better mic. Or maybe you just want to make sure your next Skype job interview goes well. Or you want to start streaming on Twitch. This is the Rode NT-USB. What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. You may have already heard of the company Rode. They make great mics of all kinds. I hear currently most about them with their shotgun mics with hot shoe mounts for vloggers and filmmakers. As a company Rode, they've actually been around for almost 30 years and besides camera microphones, they have an assortment of phenomenal studio microphones and really great shotgun microphones. I started in audio and really knew about their prowess in the studio, so I figured I'd give the NT-USB a shot. Now, you can find this for between about $160, $180. It comes with a little stand and a windscreen, which is pretty useful if you like to have the mic right in front of your face. I'll put a link below if you do want to check this out. The stand is a bit flimsy, but it is passable if you have the desk space and don't really want or need to move it around a whole lot. There are two knobs on the side of the mic, one per output volume for the headphone jack. The second knob is a source knob. It lets you blend between the computer audio and the audio coming from the mic. This is actually pretty useful if you're a musician, allows you to use the mic as a sound card and have a very low latency mix of what you're playing on the guitar, for instance, plus everything else you already recorded. What you don't see here is a gain knob. Without this, you can't actually change how sensitive your mic is. One of the competitors of the NT-USB, the Blue Yeti, that actually does have the gain knob. So you might see this as a problem, but really the drivers take care of the gain. And while playing games online with Corey, he hasn't really had a problem hearing me, except when I'm like facing away from the mic and talking really softly. The mic itself is built like a tank. It's mostly metal construction, lends really nice weight, and you can tell some love really went into, into designing this. The big question is, of course, does this really work better than those little boom mics on gaming headphones? 100%, but let me explain. This is actually a large diaphragm condenser mic, has a cardioid pattern of pickup. What that means, it really just picks up stuff in front of it. The large diaphragm part means that it picks up low sounds better than a tiny little microphone. I used to actually have a blue eyeball microphone and while it didn't sound like bad, listening to it now, it does kind of have a lot of highs and mids. It's clear, but it doesn't just sound quite right to me. What you get with a larger diaphragm, well, you can listen to this comparison between the blue eyeball, the blue Yeti, and the Rode NT-USB. This is the blue eyeball microphone from two feet away. This is the blue Yeti microphone from two feet away. This is the Rode NT-USB from two feet away. So I can't really say this mic is better than like the competitor, the Blue Yeti, but it is definitely more pleasing than the Blue Eyeball. The Rode sounds a bit cleaner to me than the Yeti. The Rode mid frequencies are a bit more present um, and the Yeti is a bit more low end. I just really love the clarity overall of the Rode mic. So conclusion time. If you are in the market for a new microphone for gaming, podcasting, video conferencing, whatever, is the Rode NT-USB the one you get? Honestly, I would say yes. Look, you can't go wrong with the Blue Yeti either. Most of the microphones in this price range are pretty freaking comparable. You can't really go wrong. I just love the look of the Rode. The windscreen is really useful, and I really prefer the sound of this to other microphones I've heard in this price range. If you have the money to spend on this, go for it. Your gaming friends will thank you. So thanks for watching, everybody. If this was helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you like making your friends ears bleed, Hit the thumbs down. Either way, let me know in the comments below what mic you use for gaming. We'll catch you in the next one. Yeah! Oh my gosh! Yeah!